Hey, welcome to Best Body CPT's Cooking with Ron, Episode 1. For today, we're going to be cooking stuffed portobello mushrooms and stuffed green peppers. And we're going to be also adding a little wild rice and spinach dip on top. So let's get started. First off, we're going to prepare our ground lean turkey. And that's 90% lean. And for this, I chose to use the spices, spicy spices. And I use red pepper and everything spicy by Flavor Gods. And you're gonna go ahead and mix that in real good because I prefer my food spicy. If you don't like spicy, there's other alternatives and uh, I can update those later. But let's go ahead and let that sit, mix that in real good. Let it sit and then we're gonna go over to the stove and we're gonna preheat our skillet. And we're gonna preheat that to a medium heat. And we're gonna use canola oil. You can use other non-stick sprays. It's gonna help you down the road so your meat doesn't stick to the pan. And uh, let's go ahead and set that up. And for that, I let the stove get hot, spray it in. Now that you reach that temperature, go ahead and add your meat. And you can add all of the meat. And for this particular dish, I use two and a half pounds of ground turkey. We're gonna let that sit. And then we're gonna go over and start preparing the portobello mushrooms. Okay, while we have our meat starting to cook on the stove, let's go ahead and grab mushrooms. And you're gonna need some type of dish, a glass bowl or any type of plastic dish so we can rinse these off real good and wash off any type of treatment that was used for the packaging of them. And I typically rinse them two to three times in the dish, fill it up, turn it over, run your fingers through it, make sure you get it nice and clean. And then uh, let's go ahead and set those on the counter. Okay, now we're ready to de-stem the portobello mushrooms. And for this part, I typically see, I typically do a counter twist one way, counterclockwise twist one way, and then turn the other way, and that typically frees up the stem. And after the stem is free, you just pull it out, drop it in the dish, and then uh, go ahead and place your mushrooms into another container. Because what you're gonna do, once you de-stem all the mushrooms, you're gonna add them into the other container and also soak them in water while we go on to step two. Now we're back at the stove where we can mince and break apart our meat. And also in this step, you wanna look at your, look at putting your rice on because you're at the stove, you can keep a good eye on your rice because I don't know how familiar or how good you are at cooking rice. Rice has a tendency of cooking faster than you think, especially when you're doing multiple things. And there's a tendency of where your rice can overcook, stick to the pan and waste a lot of your rice. So that's the time I also cook my rice. And for the seasoning, I'm gonna add some low sodium soy sauce just to the meat, just so it's not dry, give it a little more flavor to it. And at this point, you can also add seasoning to your rice if you like. For this particular dish, I added no seasoning to the rice just because the rice is kind of like, it's almost like a side, even though it's stuffed inside the mushroom, not the mushroom, but inside the green pepper. And let's go ahead and get this together and then we're gonna move over to the table and we're gonna start stuffing the portobello mushrooms first. And the stove should also be preheated at this point in time, since you're already here. And for that, I typically preheat the stove to about 400 degrees. And that's gonna be for the mushrooms. And we're gonna put those in about 10 minutes or so, but that's after we stuffed them. So now let's go stuff the mushrooms. Okay, for stuffing the mushrooms, let's make sure you have an uh, oven safe dish or pan. And it's gonna be fairly deep, but wide and, wide and big enough to where all the mushrooms can sit flat because you want the spinach dip to be able to sit up and not turn over and not have anything sitting facing each other. And for this, I use a spoon to take the ground turkey and stuff it inside the mushroom just where it's flush. And then with another spoon, I'm gonna take and grab a shallow scoop of the spinach dip and just throw it over top and slide the spoon down the side of the mushroom, leaving it over the top. It fairly works for me, but as you can see, you're gonna get a little bit on the side, just take your finger. I mean, you don't have to, but you can to make it nice and neat. And go ahead and do that for all the mushrooms. And you should be able to fill up, at least, a, well, in this case, I filled up a pan and a half. And then you're gonna place these onto the, on into the oven. And if you're gonna use a cookie sheet, which you can, and you can line that with aluminum foil. Just make sure it's deep enough to contain the moisture that comes out of the portobello mushrooms because they will create and leave moisture behind in order to soften them. And like I said, you're gonna put those in the stove for about 10 minutes and your stove should be preheated to about 400 degrees from the previous step. And then we're gonna move on to preparing our green peppers. Okay, for the green peppers, make sure they're rinsed really good 
and then what we're going to do is take a knife and shallowly go across the top and make a circle just deep enough to uh, cut away the stem and since the green peppers are hollow you don't have to go that deep and make it you can go clockwise whatever hand you are I'm typically I'm right-handed so as you can see I'm cutting to the left uh, then once you make that circle complete circle just go ahead and kind of push down on the stem it should break away reach down in there pull the stem out break any of the stem away that may have been left behind to make sure your uh, green pepper is as hollow as possible because what we're going to do from there we're going to go and take our rice which should be done and we're going to take our rice and scoop that in first and then once we put our rice in then we're going to take our ground turkey put that in next fill it up to the top or fairly to the top almost flush because you still want to have enough of a pocket to fit the spinach dip over top and uh, once that's all done we should be able to go to the stove and pull out the mushrooms they should be done at this point should have been about 10 minutes and the stove should still be preheated and still at 400 degrees which you're also going to use to cook your green peppers since everything's already cooked the meat the uh, rice and the spinach dip what you're using the stove for is to soften the green pepper so you don't want it to get too soft but you just don't want it to be as hard so almost kind of like a for this step you can use about five minutes anywhere from five to ten minutes just kind of look at it you don't want the green pepper to start browning at the top or if they do just slightly start to turn gold at the top you know they're done or you can also touch them and if they're very soft to the touch then they're prepared and they're ready to be pulled out Another step you can do, you can also visually look at the spinach dip and if that's starting to discolorate, then they're also done. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that the mushrooms are done and plated, as a pre-warning and a disclosure, these are finger foods and remember that you are grabbing these with your fingers and please do not bite through your fingers because you will need those to grab enough. But uh, let's go ahead and look at these. You can see they're nice, brown, golden, delicious, moist. And uh, I mean, the picture's worth a thousand words. Take a look, enjoy, and as you savor over these treats, these descriptions, a description of this recipe will be down in the description box, as well as any other times or steps that I may have not have mentioned in the video. But uh, now let's go to the green peppers. As you can see, they're nice and brown on the top, as I said and you can see they're slightly welted where you can see they're softened and they're also plated and these right here you can eat these with a fork or you can choose to eat these with your hands if you still have your fingers from the mushrooms okay now that everything is done smelling good let's eat just kidding but no for real check out the description box i have the recipes down there and if you just now got here and haven't subscribed please do that and don't forget to like the videos and there'll be plenty more where these came from peace